Hello Scorpios, welcome to your October 2nd reading. Uh, moving into for the week. I want to give a special shout out to Georgie. Thank you for the donation and Yvonne and Tatiana. So thank you so much for that donation you sent to me. I, I feel very blessed to have such Scorpios uh, donating. <laughs> so I don't, sometimes I'm just very, I'm very grateful. So thank you so much for that. As you know, I don't do ascended or anything like that. I do really try to bring you the best reading for Scorpios only. It's exclusive for Scorpios. Uh, so uh, thank you, Tatiana, Georgie, and Yvonne for that donation, okay? All right, so let's get into our reading, Scorpios, and see how we're doing. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, so just hopefully everything goes well with our reading. I want to see something do, new, but... Hopefully, um, the retrograde has <laughs> probably brought back some past people, like it always does. So, if you think you're out of clear with other people, you're probably wrong. But, Scorpio, I felt like today you were upset for some reason. So, let me know in the comments if you were really irritated, frustrated, um, or stressed out, maybe, on some things. So, let me see if, um, if I can help you at the end. So, let me know in the comments. And I will get back to your feedback. So anyway, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer everyone as much as I can, okay? I do work a full-time job. Um, so I am, you know, I love Scorpios. And I want you to be the best you can be. Somebody asked me about their birth chart. You have to go on your online and do a birth chart based on your birthday um, and time of place of birth. If you know it, if not... If you have a birth certificate, it should tell you on your birth certificate. So anyway, let's get started with our reading, Scorpios. See what's coming out in our past energy. We're looking for our past, current, what our person's thinking, and our outcome. So let's see what's going on with our Scorpios. Scorpios. Okay, Scorpios. Past energy. And this could be your energy as well. Take it as it resonates. Take it as it shows. Harfunt. Okay, the cards are jumping. All right. And this is your energy here, Scorpio. Let's get another card or two. So we can then we'll clarify after we get all the cards on the table. All right, so Scorpio. So, and I will channel your energy the best I can, okay? That's probably a bad mood right there. <laughs> so your stinger came out on somebody. So let's look at the um, your person's energy. How are that person feeling for Scorpio? And I will try to give you some career advice or financial advice. the cards are starting to change Scorpio I mean if you have not taken a look at my past videos take a look at my past videos and you will see that a lot of these cards for all last week were pretty similar um, the energy was staying relatively the same but you know the storyline was a little different but the cards were kind of showing up similar and this time I've seen it start to slightly change a little bit with your energies Scorpio season's coming up, so that could be it on um, October the 23rd. So let me know in your comments when's your birthday and check out your birth placements. So let me see here. Yeah, oops. Okay. Oof, I spoke too soon. That Pisces card is still showing up. Let me know in the comments if you've been dealing with a Pisces or Pisces. You, you, if the person has or Pisces in their, their chart as well. But that card has been coming out a lot. So let me see here for Scorpio. Scorpio's person. Okay. Wow, this is getting 
pretty tough here, Scorpio. You see me? There we go. Oh, I thought another card was never going to come out. Um, that just shows I do wait on the card that the universe is saying for me to give to you and to understand, okay? Um, the bottom of the deck on your person's energy is the Page of Swords. Normally, they would see that. Um, so let's get into what the outcome for Scorpio is going to be. Between you and your person, what is the outcome? And then we'll clarify, okay? I just saw the Two of Cups. I hope, let's see if it comes out again. Now some readers on the channel are very good. And there's some that just lays out the cards for you. Uh, I don't know about that. Because, I, I mean, they could shuffle, pre-shuffle pre before they turn the camera on. But uh, I do like you to see it in action. So you can see that being legitimate about the reading. And doing bringing it the best to you. So, let me see. So, Scorpios. For Scorpios. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. I'm oh, the Empress there, Scorpio. Hmm. more for Scorpio outcome and then we'll look at the clarifying it after we do the reading itself one more for the Empress there we go okay and, uh, let's get to our storyline right Scorpio at the bottom of the day for the um, for the outcome is your wand so we're gonna make that a connecting energy the Knight of Cups is in the reverse, and then we'll clarify that, okay? With the bottom, just so you know, the Queen of Pentacles, it could be something here where you're watching your money. If you're spending, overspending a lot, not saving enough, please be careful with that, okay? Because you might be short later on. And I have to actually tell myself the same thing because I do see how things are getting expensive and when I'm out, and I need to be really careful about what I'm buying. So, Scorpio, we're going to go into the cards here. Um, your person's energy, here's the Ace of Cups and the Chariot card in reverse. I don't know which one this belongs to either one of you, but there's still love here. Um, it's part of you, like I feel like it's part of you have moved on and you know in your mind that you cannot go back to this person. Because you're telling yourself, you're telling your person, you're telling your self the energy of telling yourself, you know, I'm never going back to this person. Uh, you know, this person didn't offer me anything. This person did me wrong. You're telling them all that, right? But your heart is saying something different. Your heart does still have love for this person. And that's the part of you that has not moved on. I think your brain, your logic has went way above you, but your heart still feels this person. So that is what the, the energy right there that I'm seeing with that past is that um, emotionally you have not moved on. Mentally you have and you know what you need to do. But emotionally, you still hold a special place of this love inside of your heart for this person. And I think they do too as well for you. But the Hierophant in this is here. This could have been a marriage or a very serious relationship. Um, your energy is, again, save your money because it looks like you're, you're, you know, your own life maybe could be struggling a little bit financially. Watch your bank account, okay? Because um, there's something here that's telling you with the Nine of Pentacles, um, you know, that you're not putting thought into. And it could be your money. It could be in yourself. It could be investing. You're not investing enough in yourself. And when I say that, it's like, are you really doing things for yourself? Are you going to the dentist? Are you going to the doctor to check your blood pressure? Are you... Um, checking your weight you know are you exercising that type of thing are you doing that you need to put some investment into yourself scorpio because in this energy right here it's like you have kind of forgotten about you maybe you started gaining weight um maybe some habits started forming you know but take care of yourself okay scorpio um with your energy here of the eight of wands you know this means communication it also means a fast change 
it means something that has happened inside you and I feel like here it could be a fast change in your money and that's why I keep saying that or it could be a fast change of your emotions so you have the you know the not that I'm sorry the eight of cups in reverse you have not and when I see this and this it's like you're still holding those emotions Scorpio don't hold any grudges if you have any okay I know it's easier said than done and we'll get to that later but you are being very defensive here you are pl blocking your heart blocking contact with anyone that comes near you in the way of uh, maybe you got some kind of um high blood pressure issues you know i'm saying that from that part but this is causing you to have this this animosity or just check your blood pressure okay but this is a part of you where you're not taking it anymore you can't deal with any more people and their bs bringing you drama bringing you cause and you're sitting there telling yourself why you know why am i dealing with why do i let these people do this to me you know it's kind of like that type of energy but that's why i said emotionally you haven't moved on it's uh, I think mentally you really have tried to you you put this person out of your thoughts and you know this person shouldn't be in your energy but they're still there but on your person side they see the um, six of swords they know they did a lot of things to you behind you but they're trying to be patient with you for some reason I, I, I will have to get see more into it but they are being waiting for this to calm down and simmer down um, they are out doing their own thing right now. They're not, but they, you do cross their mind, but they're letting their life settle down. They feel like, you know, should I settle down with Scorpio? And they're trying to get through this place to let you calm down. Cause they think if they come to you, you're just going to chew them up and spit them out. You know, with that being said, so I'll come back to these two cards, but connecting it with the Ace of Wands, they're still wishing and hoping for you, but they know they can't come back to bring you some kind of love right now i think this person's still immature but uh the, but this whole thing right now is they're wishing they can just talk to you just at least be on a friendly basis but i wouldn't do that um with the six of pentacles i feel like they're they thinking like with the moving on card they're doing what they got to do make money but they again it could be them that's really sh they need to be making money for some reason but they were breadcrumbing you right they did they weren't giving you much and i do feel like and when you cut this off from this person i just think that they didn't appreciate you and they started breadcrumbing you you know it's like they come in very heavy and love bumming you and they start giving you all this attention and love and texting and telling you how much they miss you how much they love you and how much they do this and do that they want to be with you and then flip of a switch they start breadcrumbing you giving you less and less and less every day and and now it's crickets they're not saying anything because you're you notice that change in communication and it started being inconsistent so with their energy they're kind of taking a time out break here they are really thinking about the hurt they brought to you and at first their ego was in a way of they thought you were wrong and you're a difficult person and you're hard to get along with <clears throat> Ooh, somebody wants to talk you're hard to get along with and so they kind of had to get away from you too because you were gonna you're gonna pick up your swords energy and mm, and just you know that's what the, the why they gotta leave you alone and the, there's the moon card there it's like they lay in their bed and they think about or on the sofa or whatever we're driving a car when they're thinking about the they know you called them out on all the behavior and they know you're right but at the beginning they didn't think that they believed that you were wrong and they know they were hiding things from you and gaslighting you and manipulating you you know with this moon card here i do feel like because they kind of stayed breadcrumbed you and then when they moved they try to get away from you they started giving you less and less and, and they're like okay i gotta leave scorpio along and because they had some secrets behind them and i feel like this person was um you know they have three animals here they were dealing with different people 
could be in their family or whatnot. And then you have the page of swords. They're, they're still in this mindset of watching you. They have frozen their time on WhatsApp. So if you notice, or if you're on WhatsApp, I don't know why I'm saying this, but uh, they've frozen their time on their WhatsApp. You will see the time will never change. Um, and it could be for a lot of you. And some of you, maybe not. But they are watching you somehow. And the reason they're turning, they're freezing their time on WhatsApp is because they know you're going to, they want you to believe they're not watching you because they're secretly hiding behind the WhatsApp screen. When you freeze your time on WhatsApp, you can still see everybody else. And it's basically your private. and But they can still see you when you're online and what you're doing and whatnot. Um, so I do believe they're still doing that. They're watching your social media. Here, you're the Queen of Cups. You know, all you wanted was love. You wanted respect and love, but you had to take your love back and guard it in that cup, right? You just had to take it back. But their energy here wishing for you, and they just they thinking that this is not the right time to come forward. That's why they're kind of staying away from you. Um they're just saying, you know, they're doing their own thing, and but they are still thinking of you. So let's clarify the cards here to see what the uh, for your energy for Scorpio. What is the cards for Scorpio's energy? Let's clarify, and we'll go into the outcome. If you like the content, make sure you give me a like. Help me on the YouTube algorithm, and leave me a comment. If you'd like to donate, go to the thanks button under the tab. And you can donate a dollar, two dollars, whatever you'd like to. I'm deeply grateful. It helps me pay my internet bill, <laughs> for sure. So thank you, Scorpios, for all your help. Again, thank you, Georgie, Yvonne, and Tatiana for that donation. And I really appreciate everyone being here. I'm reading from my heart to bring you the reading that you need to might be hard to hear sometimes, but I am trying to really, um, see there's your, the Queen of Cups again. I think you're realizing your value here. Oh my God, are you really kidding me? The Chariot card. And this is your energy, Scorpio. You know that this, this thing is over and you, but your heart is still with them. And they know this. Okay, but you're mentally you took your heart back and you got your guard in it and it's hard for you to really open up your heart to people and I understand why I really do there's that page of cups what does he want or she want they can't offer you anything look at that oh I get it now okay Scorpio these two here you're moving on, right? You're, you're taking your um, heart back and putting it and locking it up. And you're saying, you know what? I need to wait for the right person. If I got to move on, I got to move on. And I got to be thinking about possibilities of someone in my life one day. And I want somebody to wake up with. I want somebody to eat breakfast with. I want somebody to, to be a partner with. And you're not set on for, for less here, Scorpio. I don't see that in your energy. But this page... You recognize that this page was giving you the bare minimum, right? They, they That page was giving you the bare minimum. And this is your thinking. But I do feel like here, you know, if you see the Queen of Cups, and this is why I say you're not settling for last. That should be my title. But the King and Queen matches. You are looking for a king. You're not looking for a page. You're not looking for a knight. You're looking for somebody who's mature, somebody who's got a lot of love and empathy in their heart. You're looking for somebody to, um, and I like for you to manifest that if that's what you want. You can do this while I'm talking to you. You know, talk out to the universe while you're hearing this reading. Um, and tell them what type of person you want. You know, I can't tell you what to tell them because that's your business. But, you know, if you want this person back, that's great. But you felt like this this energy here is this is the person you're deserving. And this is the part of you moving on is that you know you should not settle for less. Of anybody in this world. Scorpio should not settle. And I don't think you are. You are looking for that king. Male or female. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're looking for. Okay. So that's your energy right now Scorpio. Because you deserve better. 
and I really want to give you a clap for that because you're finally starting to see your who you really are and learning who you are. So let's look at your person's energy. What is their feelings to for Scorpio? All right, what's their feelings towards Scorpio? Scorpio's person. What do they want to tell the message to Scorpio? So I'm really happy to see that Scorpios because you're standing up for yourself and you're not gonna settle for less. You're just not. You've already been through that. Wow. Thinking about you. <laughs> There's on a new beginning. Look at that. I told you they're waiting for you to calm down. There's their offer. And not a pinnacles. Wow. The Hierophant. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. I don't know what the deal is with this Hierophant. <sighs> there won't chances here. Your person's feeling very bad about what they did. They should. <laughs> they should. That's why I said they're waiting for you to calm down. They're looking at you for a new beginning. Um, they're trying to transform themselves. They know that they need to change. They know they need to become a better person because you're you're looking for you're not looking for that page anymore. You were dealing with a page and you're looking for a king. Six of Swords. They know that, like I said earlier, they're they're trying to let things calm down, and they're doing it peacefully. They want peace with you. The, they want to make men's whether you I don't know if you ever want to take them back or not but they want to make some kind of peace offering or olive branch to you and I think that's part of their their offer is to offer something an olive branch or something to make you feel to want them back in their life they miss you in their life because they're starting to have a spiritual awakening here I feel like the hierophant when they realize Scorpio you know, you, you probably gave this person more chances than anybody ever did. And they did see some, they were in this relationship, and they still feel that they, they belong with you. And they feel like you should have been the one they marry, that you should be the one that they are with. And you gave them a lot of chances here. Um, but at the same time, I feel like they're going through the spiritual awakening. And I feel like up here, too, with that hierophant you are, you finally realize something about yourself here, that you're standing strong for yourself, standing up for yourself, becoming the best person you can be, and you're moving forward. Well, they're probably going through that same thing with you. You know, they feel like at the same time they have learned this new beginning, this new something about them um, has changed in them. What is the Seven of Cups for? What is this? Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. What is it representing for Scorpio's person message? What would they like to tell Scorpio? They want to make peace with you. I hear that. The Queen of Wands. And you're not taking, they know you're not taking anything else, but they do see you as this beautiful person that gave, has a lot of passion and empathy. And they want to tell you that they shouldn't have gave you up. They shouldn't have left. Right? They shouldn't have left you. And I just did, I just said this before I picked up the deck. They shouldn't have left you. They shouldn't have hurt you and walked away. Because you are their soulmate. They missed out a good thing here, you know. They're learning their, their uh, part of them that their heart is torn all right so the last card for that was they're quiet they're being silent right now so let's get to our outcome they are thinking about you they don't think they're good enough for you in reality they they may have put on this face that they were the best thing you ever met but they're really thinking about you a lot during their job while they're working they could be working outside, like a lawn maintenance, and you know, building things. 
And I think this goes both ways, but they're stuck in their mindset about you. And, you know, so mental prison, this is the part where I said um, they just can't get you out of their head. And the Knight of Swords is in the reverse. Uh, there's an option card again. Their shadow, they got a lot of shadow work to do, but the Knight of Swords is saying, and you had it also over here, the Knight of, um, as well, but the Knight of Swords is like, you know, I don't want to hurt you anymore, Scorpio. I've been doing a lot of thinking for things that I have done. And it's brought me a lot of sadness. Because um, you are the Empress. You are the best thing they ever met. When I used to tell you, you know, they used to tell you that, right? They used to tell you you're the best thing they ever had or you're the best person they ever met. And where were you 10 years ago or where, where have you been in my life? That kind of thing. Uh, the Five of Swords is in reverse. They're not want to... The reason they're also being quiet is they know you're one of these people that should have never been hurt. You shouldn't have been hurt. Because they, did, they thought you were like other people. But you showed them this change that there are good people out there. And you were one of them. They missed the opportunity with. So this is why they feel this way. They, you know, they, why they want to change. Spiritually change. Clarify the Empress and the Five of Swords, please, for the outcome. Um, Ace of Wands, they do want to change. You're making this change. They're changing for you. And that, you could be dealing with a fire sign. There's a lot of water sign energy here. Um, I mean, pretty much everybody's here. But the Ace of Cups, you know, Ace of Wands. Anything else for Scorpio's outcome with their person? I hope that you're enjoying your reading. Hope this manifests. Yeah, they're not letting you go though. They're they they're this you're a person they're gonna remember for the rest of their life. And they're gonna do they're you, you you taught this person how to they saw you fighting for them and going through all these things for them. I'm sorry, I just dropped the card. And they saw all this. I'm gonna put my deck there so you can see I didn't pick up the card. Give me one second. And the Five of Swords, I just said, they were fighting for you. You know, you they're, they're going to have to fight for you. Because you're not going to be in the bottom of the deck. Energy is, wow, look at that. Empress, they just think the world of you. They want to make that offer again. Well, you saw that earlier. And what it is, is that, Scorpio, this person's really starting to understand how love really feels. You showed them, like, they have never been loved in their life. They had some trauma. And it could be you, too, as well. So let me know in the comments. But it had some trauma here with the sword's energy. And they felt they never learned what it felt like to be loved. And there's so many people like that. But you showed them love. You showed them a lot of deep, passionate love, right? And I'm not talking about just sex, you know. But i got to be careful what I say on YouTube because I'll get blocked <laughs> so anyway people you know how people are but anyway this your person really feels you're one of the best people they ever met and they're they're coming back for you scorpio they don't even care if you're with somebody they know they but they hoping that you're alone they hope that you're just you know you can feel their energy and that they can just come back to you that's completely up to you scorpio But they do regret what they did and the pain that they caused you. You haven't spoken to this person in a while. You know, anywhere from, you know, could be six months to years because of the Eight of Wands is in reverse. It could be up to, you know, six months to a year, year and a half. It's been a while. Um... I think you still carry a torch for this person as well with Ace of Wands. I feel like you still carry a little bit of fiery, even though behind under the anger that you have, this person you felt like was your soulmate too. And you still carry a torch for them. And even though they make you angry, they put you through a lot of things, your love is not going to really change in a whole lot. Uh, you're not going to forget them. 
Um, you're not going to forget the love you gave them, but you're also feeling that flame, right, inside your heart that's always there. No matter how hard you try to forget them, the flame comes back and you start feeling it. And that's what's keeping both of you connected here is the passionate energy you share telepathically. So I don't know what you should do with this, but in the sense that, you know, sometimes people have to go through a journey to learn lessons and learn about things learn about life and I'm sorry you got hurt Scorpio just as much as I got hurt before but sometimes people have you you're, you're the person who showed them is it right <laughs> maybe not from the universe but I feel like you're the person who you know we meet people on our, our journey paths our direction to teach us things and maybe this person taught you things and you taught them things but I don't think this person had any ever had love in their life so it's hard for them to believe when they met you that you were going to actually love them for who they were. And because they felt like their whole life nobody loved them. So with that five of cups here and the five of swords, a lot of five, that's what I say, five months to a year and a half. This has been going on. And this person also carries this. It's between the two of you. They're still carrying that. They haven't forgotten you. I mean, even if they're... I haven't spoken to you in a long time. They're still remembering you a lot. They can't forget you. But they feel like they can just... Someday faith is going to bring you back. With a higher fund. They do believe you should have gotten married or been together. Okay? So I think it's all about forgiveness here. So Scorpio. Um, I do feel like the person you were dealing with... Their name started with an E. Or your name starting with an E. A C. Um, a S. And a P. Possibly an R. So, uh, just kind of let you know that. Think about that. It's just letters that popped in my head about names. So anyway, I will let you go. If you like this reading, thank you so much, Scorpio. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to click the like. That really helps me on YouTube. And um, thanks for all the protection. I send you love and protection. If you'd like to donate, look at the word thanks and you could do that. And I uh, hope to see you soon, Scorpio, and to go to a live reading. So I do want to be live. Try to get back into that. So don't forget, uh, click the like button and subscribe if you want to get more only exclusive Scorpio videos. All right, talk to you soon, Scorpio. Send in love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.